Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we are back. The gang is here. This is my $650 Volvo 850 wagon, and this is a gigantic box I got for Mock Auto. In today's video, we're gonna solve one of the problems, the car doesn't wanna go, and another problem is it makes a horrible sound when you are turning the wheel. So, we happen to have some CV axles right in here and some gaskets, you're gonna solve the leak. We are going to silence the duck make the dog sit and be still, and we are going to get to work. All right, first things first, let's open the box and see what we've got. I am dressed for dirt today. I know I'm going to be very, very <laughs> messy, and that's okay, because that's just the way I operate. I wish I could be one of those clean mechanics that just comes out of everything looking perfect. I'm not. <laughs> but here we have our CV axles. This is for this side. Passenger side is way, way, way longer. And I happen to get a couple of oil seals where these things go into the transmission. It's gonna solve our leak and it's gonna make this car <laughs> much more drivable. Step one, jack up the car. Remove the wheels and silence the duck. We're making progress, absolutely. We have one gigantic 36 millimeter <laughs> bolt right here removed thanks to my little zing zing tool yep zing zing tool that's not horrible didn't it anyway um we have this removed now a lot of people will say you can take off the uh ball joint under here that makes it very difficult to put back in i remove the two uh bolts that hold on the control arm and then this is this is kind of free to move um, on the driver's side, there's nothing hindering your removal on this side, back up here, because this is the long one. There are two, I think they feel like 10 or 12 millimeter bolts that hold it into place. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Let me just get all of this stuff removed and then we will be back and I'll show you how easy it was. We have loosened everything and removed everything. I think that we need to remove and I'm being very clean about this, hopefully so, as I jump right in front of the camera. Anyway. What we should be able to do now, lower this control arm. I have, oh, that's great. Come on, the other one came down so easy. Let go. And I could remove this. I just don't want to. Oh, there you go. Oh, everything is so rusty. Oh, all right, there we go. Okay, not too much stress on this. It's kind of loose. What you can do now, see how this comes out? There it is, it's out. And hopefully if I give this thing a nice little yank, let's get it away from the wall. There we go. Okay, now hopefully, if I give this a quick yank, <laughs> that is how you do it. Here is what holds it on to part of the motor right there, okay? And there's a little, supposed to be a little clip. Huh, maybe it's just on the other side. Anyway, one CV axle out. So this is the reason that we're replacing it. Okay, see how bad this boot is torn and there's so much gunk in here? This is a bad one. Time now to remove the seal with our new seal puller. And the duck is loose, so I apologize if the quacking gets to you. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't help it. I love my duck and I want him to have fun. So anyway, hopefully this is gonna work. I've already tried. Can you see the screw right there? I've already tried that method and it did not work. So let's just kind of see if this one is going to work. There it is. Come on, baby. 
Okay, well it's amazing how quickly things work when you have a tool. So this is the old. Did the old even come out? No, it didn't even, that was just the metal part. Oh, the side has been fighting me. You can't even imagine. I'll show you how the uh, CV axle was actually stuck, oops, in the hub. And I had to use fire and ice and all kinds of stuff to get it out. And now this isn't going to come out because I because the, the metal part is not. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, here it is. OK, well, you want these to be flexible. <laughs> this there's nothing flexible about it. OK, well, that part was, I guess, but I had a leak. Yeah, and so now, as the transmission fluid leaks, I can put my new seal in. We'll compare sizes, and then we'll tap the new one in. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, we'll put the new one in, and then we're going to work on the other side. We're back. It's a whole other day, and this was so much fun to get off. I don't even remember if I explained what happened. This actually got frozen into... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's probably not a good thing. What's going on here? Into my wheel hub. I couldn't, wow, I couldn't get it off. I had to bang it with a sledgehammer to get this thing out. I used fire and water and lube and PB blaster and everything else. It finally came out. Then we discovered another problem. Okay, I went to remove the seal. Here's my seal. That's the old one, okay? This is the one Rock Auto sent me. And there's a little bit of a difference. There you go. Not even close. I mean, it is not even close, okay? No way that's gonna fit. So I get to send these back and we're splitting the postage. Rock Auto splits postage with you now, which is fantastic. Then I went to O'Reilly's and I found one that is the correct size, but they only had one in stock. So there we go. It's a perfect match. And ay ay ay, it's going to be so much fun. This for some reason, I don't know. I think it was on backwards or something. I'm I'm just not real confident with the way that was installed. Okay, so we'll wait for the other one to get here. This one is already lubricated on the inside. So that's a good thing. Um, and I'll also lubricate the axle shaft, which would be <laughs> right here. So this will go on just like that. And then it seals right up here, okay? Um, and then I have this that will help me kind of bang it into place very lightly. We also have our new CV axle, which is in the box. Sorry about the camera work, but it is right there. So. We'll get this all back together. I am going to clean where this thing actually lives, which is right there. We'll lube the sides, we'll lube the seal, and then we will tap it into place ever so gently. And here comes Lola and the duck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And there you go. One beautifully installed CV joint with the new nut. We've got the control arm attached. I ended up uh, loosening this link right here so I could adjust this a little bit here so we could get the bolts in for the control arm. So we have a new seal, new CV axle, nicely tightened up to spec. Everything is gorgeous. And tomorrow, <laughs> when the other seal arrives, we can do the other side, but they only had one. So it's time to work on another project. It's another day and another seal has arrived. So we will remove the old one put in the new one with some special lubrication, also known as transmission fluid. We will tap it into place and then we will install the CV axle. Um, I just gotta figure out which one of these is the right thing I need to use. Okay, so this is my uh, one and 13 16 <laughs> socket that's gonna pound this thing right into place, okay? This one, 
it does have some lube on it for the inside. I just want to go ahead and lube the outside as well. But let's get the old one off first, and then we'll have some fun with the new one. One seal installed. We also have our bracket removed from the old one, which is going to sit right here and attached to the, uh, there's a receiver part right up there kind of uh, by the engine, which will be great. We're going to get this installed. We'll put some lube on the end of that. We have a brand new huge nut to attach to go right through there. We will also put a little bit of uh, lube right here. So should something happen, I'm, the ne next guy will not go through the trouble that I had to go through to fix this. So let's see what we can do. We have encountered another problem. When I went to drive the car here, I could not because the battery was not charged and it was not keeping a charge. So upon further review, yeah, now the alternator's gone bad. I, I fix something, something else goes wrong. I fix that, something else goes wrong. Hopefully after this, we will be able to get the car on the road. So now I get to um, move the power steering pump right here. I get to loosen the belt, which is oh so much fun, and I get to put on the alternator. It's not that difficult. It's a couple of bolts, but you got to move this and this, and this has to come out, and you got to move your computers because you got to get the bolts out. Anyway, we're going to let you play some music. We're going to let you uh, enjoy the view, <laughs> and we're going to put in our new to us used alternator. Yay! <laughs> do some splaining to you. This has been so much fun because they pack everything right in here. Power steering over the alternator, over the air conditioning compressor. And this kind of holds a lot of things together. And there's another support bracket right here that you have to remove to get the three bolts for your alternator out. To get to the bolts through your power steering pump, you have to go through the pulley. And there's still one on the back side. So what we're going to do is put our new one in right here. It's going to be perfect. It's going to work great. And I'm going to be very happy with it. And then we'll button everything back up. Duck, please quiet. Shh, shh. Thank you. And we will get her back on the road. We're going to take her for a test drive. I got to get this little thing off right here. But after that, I think she's going to be good to go. And this alternator looks like it's in way better condition. Should I take this thing off and check the brushes? I don't know. We're just going to put it together and see if it works. I'm just going to try to be positive. Let's just do that. 
Everything is back together, and I gotta tell you, the Volvo engineer who decided, hush, hey, shh, pew, pew. the Volvo engineer who decided to put bolts through the pulley for the um, power steering was one brilliant man. That took so long because you can't see the holes. Everything's gotta be lined up perfectly. But we did it, we powered through, and we are ready to give this a start. Okay, so let's see if we can add a battery, turn the key, and see if we are getting some charging going on. I got all, all heck is broken loose here. Okay, I got the duck, I got the dog, I got the squeaky toy, and I got a Volvo that does not want to cooperate. Time has come to turn the key. Let's just see what's going to happen. <laughs> I think she sounds pretty dang good. I really, really do. So let's just very quickly see if we're charging. Give me a 13.6. 14? Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Just like Britney Spears says, yes, sir. So we have a good alternator. We have new fluids. We have new CV axles. And it is time to finally take this car on the road. Well, let's see how she's doing, okay? Because. If she runs and drives, she deserves. Oh, you know what? We haven't fixed this. Absolutely, because look what I got. I don't know what fell, but this goes here. So let me show you how it's done. Okay. Ugh. We got to put the key in, put this into neutral, and then basically, jerk hold on let's see if you can do this all right in the videos you just grab it and yank it like this you ready uh, like this uh, well that didn't quite go as planned what happened well this whole thing came out oh crap dad gummit that did not go as planned at all What's wrong with this thing? I broke it. Sugar daddy. All right, well, this is what we did. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. The whole thing came out. It's not supposed to be like that. Doggone it. All right, let's see how we can fix this. Well, we got the new one on. We've, we have some unrepairable damage. So I don't know what happened. The one that came out of the salvage yard, so much easier than this one. Um, I could super glue this or we'll just find one. I could probably go back to the salvage yard and get one. It was a little different. It was an S70. But anyway, this looks a thousand times better. We just got to be careful with this because we're going to be putting this in drive and reverse over and over as we test out our transmission but this looks fantastic i love this and it does work okay well i can tell a difference already because there's no little click 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 when i'm turning and she's going into reverse very nicely and she's going into drive very nicely. So we're gonna have to get on eBay and get a couple of parts for. We're really gonna have to do something with my driveway too. This is terrible. See, she's doing good. See, we're going back and forth. Look at this. 
All right, well, I gotta get that car out of the way before we can take this one on the road, so stay tuned. Well, the engine's running very slow. Let's just see how far we can go. Um, see how slow it is? I know I have a vacuum leak. I know there's a hose. I don't know where it goes or what it does. Let's just kind of go down here and see what happens. That's a lovely sound. Those are the brakes. But at least the transmission seems to be working now. That's nice. Power steering is a little tough. But I think it's going to work out for us. Here we go. It's just the brakes. I really got to figure out what's going on with the brakes. But look at this, we're going up the hill <laughs> and going back behind the house, which is amazing. So we're actually going to park the car over here for the first time ever. Say hi to the deck. I put him in the cage. Okay. Other than this, it's been a very, very successful couple of days. I mean, it really has. This, I've got to figure out what I can what I do with, but this, yeah, this is all, all jacked up. And just like that, we got ourselves another video on my very inexpensive Volvo 850 T5, Turp, ooh, T5 with dirty fingers. I want to say she needs uh, spark plugs and a tune-up, and we got to fix that vacuum leak. After that, I think it's going to be a time for uh, to travel outside of the neighborhood. I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go outside the neighborhood and see how she survives. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. This is a fun little car. I mean, it really is. It has a lot of work that needs to be done. This is terrible, but we've saved another one from the crusher. So that, in my opinion, is a great big win. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Woo, hope you got a chance to see the eclipse yesterday, and we'll see you in the next video very, very soon. All right? Four thousand RPMs. Just gotta let her heat up a little bit. All right, we'll see you again. Bye bye.